themes and so how do you approach your writing? Well, um, typically I just use those hours that he's in school and then like so many other writer moms that I've heard on this show too, you know, you, you, you're, you, know, you, you're, you shift and you have a completely different role and it's over for the day. Um, I recently reread, this is a new thing, I guess that it's an, a, an a, it's, you reach a certain age when it's time to reread certain books. Mm -hmm. um, so I've started doing that and, and, and I'm just amazed at what happens. Anyway, I just reread Michael Cunningham's The Hours. Oh. And he talks about Virginia Woolf mm -hmm. and how she would get up in the morning and try to avoid contact with anybody because it would burst this delicate yes. membrane. Yes. And um, when I read that, I put it down and I thought, I have to get up Early. at 5.30 yes. in the morning and have that hour um, to... And did you? I did, I did. I just interrupted it because I have house guests right now. Okay. But um, wow. I'm going to go back to it. I, I did it for a month and I've been doing this throughout my life. I fall mm -hmm. off. It's not yeah, natural to me. You start and you stop and you start again. The point yes. is starting again. Yes. It doesn't matter if you stop, but you just do need to start again. It, absolutely. Yeah. And that hour of writing is like nothing else you can do after that time of the day. It is such a powerful, even if you're tired, even yeah. if you're miserable, the writing and the ideas that get put down yeah. are so yeah. much more, the, the, well, your editor isn't up yet. You, <laughs> you left her in bed. Your critical self is still in bed. Do you think because you're so tired? Oh, that's hilarious. How to outwit your internal editor. Yes. Get up before she does. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah.